All right, yo, what's going on? It's Lake, and it's been a while, but today I'm going to be doing this, uh, like, Elgato freeze and just capture, like, settings and everything like that. Now, a lot of problems the Elgato has is sometimes if your computer's not very strong or you're using a laptop and everything like that, sometimes it's hard to get the best performance and the best quality out, out of it, and the audio sometimes is a bit funky. Um, this is a video that I made a long time ago, but obviously Elgato has been running a lot of updates and there's a lot of new things to it. And basically I'm going to be going over just the Elgato settings that I use, or that I used to use anyway, when I used to record on a laptop. Like now, I have an insane PC and just an insane setup in general, so, you know, I can run it in the highest settings. But this is for the, this is the best overall performance. This is going to be the easiest to use. Now we're going to switch over here, we're going to look at the Elgato. Now over here I have it in 1080p 60 frames because I record on the Xbox One. Now if you guys want to drop it, to just HD 720, that is the YouTube default at 720p, it's honestly the exact same. Um, basically, you just want to mess with the quality bar. The quality bar is something that you can really just change. Um, just throwing it down to like um, between good and better, you know, it just makes the file size a little bit smaller and it makes it so it doesn't have to really work as hard. Um, and honestly, as you guys can see, the quality still looks very nice on the Elgato here. Um, and then another really huge thing that I said in the last one, and this is something that I used to do on my laptop all the time, is just disabling your preview. When you disable your preview, the app itself, like the Elgato software, it is not running as hard at all. It's not trying so hard to display the preview. When you just turn off your preview, if you're running on a laptop or just a, you know, an average PC, disabling that preview helps a lot. That's something that I highly recommend doing is if you need to disable your preview, it works, all right. So just you know, disable preview. That is something that it's something that really does help a lot. Um, other than that, you know, that's something that's huge. Um, here's my settings. I don't use flashback recording. A lot of people do. Um, I just turn it off. It's one less thing you have to do. Um, the stream command, something I don't really do a lot. Um, sharing. The only thing that I really do is the file MP4. That's the only thing you really need to do. You can unclick the rest, um, and then um, usually. I have it so it doesn't always convert to new mp4 files so let's say I record for like an hour or two and after an hour or two or whatever of recording I don't hit any clips it's not going to automatically just start trying to render right out I can just go over it's not rendering yet I can just hit delete real quick it doesn't really make any big of a difference but that's just the biggest thing I'd like to say is just disabling your preview um, try not to run it on the highest settings um, that's probably a huge thing that I would recommend doing. If you guys have any comments, definitely drop a comment down below. You know what's happening. You know I've had a lot of Elgato problems myself. I have an HD60. It's sitting in my closet. I never use it. Maybe I'll give do a giveaway if this video does really well. I upgraded the HD60 Pro that I put into my monitor. Or not my monitor, my big old PC. Not monitor. I can't put anything on my monitor. Come on. But I have an HD60 Pro I put in here. So I have my original Elgato, the first one that I ever used is sitting in my closet. If you guys want to enter that giveaway, drop a comment down below and hit the like button. And subscribe if you haven't already. And this is Malik, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everybody.